Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you very much for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to go over the K25 Tanto folder. All right, so again, Blood Vein Industries have sent me these knives. This is the one that I purchased myself. And it's a Tanto blade, it's my first Tanto blade. And uh, let's get into it. So to start with, we'll go over the model number, which is a 19580. So that's the number that you wanna quote if you wish to purchase one of these. So what we have here is a nice nylon ripstop digicam sheath, which is quite well built. I really like the, uh, the quality of this sheath. Nice heavy stitching. The pouch has a clip here just to secure it from opening up. And it's also got the Velcro there as well. Uh, this clip here is somewhat adjustable a little bit, not too much, but it does give you a little bit of play. On the back, we've got our molly attachment there with a snap lock, and you can just tuck that in under the molly there so that it uh, doesn't come undone when it's on your belt. So that's the sheath. Very nice, I, I like that sheath, it's really good. Double stitched on the back there and just a single stitch around the top here and it's got the k25 patch there embroidered on it as well so opening it up we have a nice dark od finish on it which is the synthetic rubber that the k25 fixed blade had so a really nice coating I do like this coating, it feels really good in the hand. And you've got some rubber here as well for a little bit of extra grip and just a bit more of a tactile feel. So on the top here we've got the glass breaker, which is a tungsten glass breaker. And a seatbelt cutter with a dual blade. So you've got the two blades in a V there to uh, aid with your cutting. And you've got this little lanyard here with a bit of a cobra weave on the, on the bottom and the square K25 bead hanging off there as well. So makes it nice and easy if it's in your pocket. You can dangle that out of your pocket so that you can just extract it a lot easier. Uh, we've got a little push notch here for aiding in opening this blade. It doesn't open all the way when you flick it. it. actually It's actually getting better, it's actually loosening up. So it used to only go to about here. So I have been using this a little bit, not too much, but uh, that is loosening up and with a little bit of time, I'd say that'll open up just nicely. Uh, on top of that, we've got the two thumb notches here, left and right for left hand, right hand application. And just opens up there like so, with a bit of a flick. So you've got a line lock here that snaps nicely into place and there is no, well, very little movement in that blade, a little bit side to side and a little bit up and down, but really minimal. So that's really good. We've got a drop point on the blade here, and obviously a nice Tanto style. Uh, I really wanted a Tanto knife, so once I saw this one, I really liked the look of it, and uh, really happy with it. Nice and easy to close as well. It doesn't fall down, so you don't have to worry about it chopping your finger off or your thumb when you undo that lock and then you can just push it in. And that's nice and sturdy, so it's not gonna come undone in your pocket. And yeah, nice and easy to open. Like so. Uh, also, we've got a little bit of jimping on the top of the blade there that transitions 
into the jimping on the top of the blade of the handle. It's nice and thick and heavy, so it'll take a bit of beating. So let's go over some specs of this knife. So it's the K25 range. The steel is the same as the fixed blade that I showed you. Um, I did do a beat test on that K25 fixed blade in black. Uh, just visit the Facebook page and type in beat test and it should come up. And just a, a couple of trees that I've chopped up and whatnot and did an edge test and it held its edge quite well. So go and check that video out guys. That's why you should uh, like the page so you can get it little extra bits like that. So I have sharpened this on the Lansky like I did with the uh, the fixed blade. And I tell you what, it was a bit interesting to, um, to sharpen this. It was actually not too bad transitioning from that blade there what I did with the Lansky is I just filed down to that bit and then I started on that bit I didn't sort of run it across that edge and I've sort of maintained that that little fine uh, transition there so that's come up really well I have made myself up a crude strop out of an old couch <laughs> so I've just been running across here with some compound, some polishing compound to strop it up and uh, it hasn't come up too bad. It isn't overly shaving sharp but it does take hair off. I don't recommend anyone do this. Oh, actually it's not shaving sharp. The problem is my hone is broken so I really can't get a finer edge on it than what I've already got here. So I've got to get myself a new one. But we'll do a bit of a, a paper test here. If I can find my paper. Here it is. And it's obviously sharp enough. So the steel, uh, like I said, is the same as the fixed blade. It's a 7CR17MOV. I'll post those stats up again for you guys on the uh, the steel app. The blade length is 9.3 centimeters. The blade thickness is 3 mil, and the overall length 22 centimeters, including the glass breaker. So there you have it guys, this has also got the, uh, the, the titanium coating on there as well, just to aid in rust prevention as well, with the K25 brand in titanium coated on the blade as well. So there you have it guys, that is another knife from Albinox through Blood Vein Industries, go and check them out, the link will be in the description. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram as well for extra stuff. I'm also now on Patreon, so if you want to become a patron, go over there. I've got three different tier levels at three, five, and ten dollars a month. So your help is greatly appreciated. That's going to aid me in getting some decent gear to do better videos for you guys. So thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Bye.